right, guys. Today we have today we got the Drill Master cutoff saw. Now they have a larger one, but as you can see, I'm already cramped. So I just chose, even though I really, really wanted it, I chose to go with the six inch. Um, it'll probably do everything that I need to do with my welder. So. It, it probably is going to work for what I want, but it really would have been nice to have the 14 inch. They have a drill master and then a uh, central, uh, I think, central one. Uh, one thing you got to know about this, and thankfully the clerk actually uh, made me aware of it. Cutoff wheel sold separately, so you have to make sure you remember to buy the cutoff wheel sold separately. I went to two different stores because um, I went to the one and I, I got it with it and all they had was the Warrior um, blades and then I went to another store and they only, uh, to get something else we just happened to be driving around and um, they only had the Warrior blades so I don't know maybe they only make the Warrior blades they don't make the um, the upper grade like the Bauer and the uh, you know the other brands they don't have any other brands of the blades. Oh, it's actually, you know, even though I was carrying the box, I didn't realize it does have some weight to it, um, which is good because it really doesn't have any mounting holes. Uh, for some reason, it has three rubber grips and one metal grip. I'm sure there's a reason for that, and someone in the comments will tell me, but. I don't actually know what that reason is. Yeah, it feels actually really sturdy for a drill master piece. For a drill master piece, the only thing I've ever gotten from Harbor Freight that I really didn't like is something made by a drill master or um, some of their cheaper central pneumatic things that I thought might help me. And I never have really had good luck with them, and I buy them anyway. And I still haven't had any luck. But anything Drill Master I bought their uh, skill saw, it was horrible. I bought their Dremel type tool, it was horrible. Um, so, so far I haven't had good luck with Drill Master. Uh, and I know it's their kind of like, I guess their lower brand stuff, but you know, I'd like to get just a little bit of use. But, went out on a limb and got this. This felt better. I've heard. That it actually works for smaller things, you know, as long as you don't abuse it beyond its capability, it should be good to go, right? Yeah, a little cheap spring on there. Got a nice cover. I mean, it doesn't, unless it's up straight up and down, the spring doesn't even work. But, easy enough. Sure, it has instructions and their wrenches with it six inch cutoff wheels the warrior version like I said I was unable to find anything else tighten her up bring it around good feels pretty good got like a little stop here ah there you go look at that kind of set it set it in place and then tighten her up so I'm just going to cut this little piece of metal first. We'll do a couple different cuts. Okay, there's one problem. This thing's got a lot of play in it. So, I'm just got to hold it in place. Oh, it feels like it's got good power. I mean, see what happens. Always wear safety gear. Oh, uh, sure I got some around here somewhere. It is pretty loud, so um, it's definitely not a quiet motor, but you know what? Press on that, it does pretty well. Alright, let's try this again.
it took that long to go through that and you heard that thing it was uh, it was screaming uh, a better cutoff wheel I'm sure is gonna help greatly um, that's a 36 um, you can see I mean, this thing's brand new so I mean <laughs> that's how much play you get in the shop so if you're looking for accuracy this is not it. Um, wow. Man, I don't want to return. I don't want the big one because I don't have any room for it. But man, look at this. Is, I mean, if you're shooting for any type of accuracy, you, you might as well hang it up, huh? I mean, you, you, you know, you, you can see that. And that's, and that's with one finger. I mean, it's not like I'm doing anything. Well... Um, it was tough to get through that. <laughs> Just this little piece of metal. I mean, measure it. 14 gauge. This is probably 14 gauge metal. And <clears throat> you saw. <coughs> this is 14 gauge metal. And you kind of saw the trouble that this warrior cutoff wheel had with that. Um, well, I don't even know if I need to try something thicker, right? I mean, you guys saw that. That was a brand new, um... <laughs> that was a brand spanking new. And it's just cheap Chinese metal. Alright, <clears throat> we'll try a couple things. This is this is one eighth inch flat steel. This is stuff you'd normally buy from Harbor Freight. I mean from excuse me. From Home Depot. Um, good little feature there. I'm sure they all have that. <laughs> I really don't want to mess this up, but for the purpose, <laughs> please like, comment, subscribe so I can pay for this piece of metal. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, this seems to be holding good, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think I get some. As long as that took, I'm going to go ahead and get some of those. Here we go. I'm pressing down, you can see it like tilt, right? See that? So you can't apply very much pressure at all. I'll probably be taking this back. I mean, um, <clears throat> hopefully, you saw that. So, <laughs> cut round or square stock up to one inch. Um, one inch, what does that mean? I mean, come on, guys. Oh, and just as I said, look how that slipped off. This, you know, it needs to be thicker. You know, <laughs> the only thing it can cut, it can't hold. So, oh, now it's stuck. There we go. All I did was mar up that metal. <laughs> wow. Well, I I am uh, I'm disappointed. I gotta say that uh, I don't I don't I don't think it. Drillmaster Drillmaster seems to always fail me. So guys, I think um, I'm not a big return guy, and I use man I use my 25% off coupon on this man. So I wonder if they'll let me reuse that. You know. Anyway, I love Harbor Freight as you can see chair welder's cart um, grinder 
I mean, you name it. I'm the king of cheap, man. Gloves, uh, brackets, um, you know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, honesty is honesty. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys to buy that, so I would not buy that. All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please comment on this one. I got to pay for this metal. I got to pay for my time to go back to the store. <laughs> and hopefully I saved you something. So, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. And um, you can modify it to only get the Harbor Freight reviews or something. You know, that playlist. I appreciate it. Uh, check you on the next one.